Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so we are today talking about the astronomy since the 1700s. So we are going to be looking at everything from discovering that we have other planets in our solar system, that we have an asteroid belt, to finding exoplanets and black holes and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So uh, we'll be primarily focusing on the manned and unmanned missions of NASA, but your live lesson notes will be about the 1750s to about 2000 and maybe about 2010 when we first started finding exoplanets. So um, most of what you'll be doing is looking at notes. You have your um, uh, module three, lesson three that you need to follow um, and take a look at that. You have to get at least 75% or higher in order for the quiz to show up. Remember that there is a quiz for module three, lesson three. You just have to get at least 75% or higher in order for that to show up. There are two sets of notes or three sets of notes excuse me one of them still needs to be posted you've got the unmanned spacecraft notes the manned spaceflight notes and you have the notes on the recent findings in terms of or, or from 1750 to, to 2010 roughly um, then you have an uh, a You'll be doing what's called a poplet which is a mind map you'll be creating a mind map of several different at least four missions that NASA has currently outstanding. Some of them may be the European Space Agency, some of, them, some of them may be the Japanese Space Agency, but they are current programs that are out there looking and um, trying to see what's going on in the universe. So you have that. You also are going to be creating a timeline of manned spaceflight through NASA. So that's mostly looking at the space race um, and then going up to about 2010. And then uh, you have your quiz on astronomical research, and again, that astronomical research you have, or that quiz, you have to get at least seventy-five percent of the module three. Um, excuse me, where is it? I'm going to pause it right here. Recent astronomical research in the manned space program, mod three, lesson three. Though that's where you have to get at least seventy-five percent for the quiz to even show up. If that quiz doesn't show up, that means you didn't do well enough on the lesson itself, and you need to go back and make sure you get those lessons correct. You have as many times as you need to to get those correct. Okay, so let me know if you need anything. Text me, email me, whatever you need to do to get in touch with me. I'd be happy to get in touch with you right away and get your questions answered. So enjoy learning about the recent discoveries through astronomy.